Hey guys, Autocrit has just put out a number of new updates to their AI integration inside of Autocrit. Autocrit is not an AI platform overall, but they do have some really savvy AI integrations that I think are great, and they've just upgraded them. So I thought I would give you the lowdown on what is going on there. Plus some really important information if you're seeing this before Black Friday or Cyber Monday uh, in 2025 that we, we need to talk about as well. And just so you know, this video is not sponsored by Autocrit. I do have an affiliate link down below that you can check out if this sounds interesting to you, but let's get into the video. All right, so in a previous video, I had outlined some of the new features that they added, like the alpha reader. So you, if you go up here at the top to story analyzer, you'll see this one that says alpha read. Let me see if I can zoom in a bit. Um, click on this alpha read, story analyzer plus, beta read, and market fuel, all of which I think are fantastic additions to this platform and super helpful for any author who wants to make a living with their books, especially this market fuel stuff, which analyzes your book and gives you a bunch of marketing assets. So that like, that's super valuable in my opinion, but also having these uh, beta and alpha readers is really interesting too. So they have a bunch of pre-made ones like this one known as the harsh critic. Uh, but you can also create your own depending on what niche you're in and so forth. Uh, but they've made a number of improvements to this based on some feedback. In fact, there was one thing I had met with them just a couple of weeks ago, like maybe six weeks ago, and gave them some feedback on this. And they literally came to me last week and were just like, hey, we did that thing you asked. And I was blown away. So they're clearly listening to authors and want to know ways that they can improve. And so some of those are here today. The first thing I want to mention here is that we have a first read and a reread button. What this does is, uh, let's say you you get the analysis of your book and you think, okay, that's fair, and you go and you make a, make a bunch of changes, and you want to do a reread to see if it improves. What this does is it actually allows you to, first of all, you get to keep your history so you can see what it said the first time, which was not the case before. And now with the reread, you can, uh, it has the context of what was wrong in the previous instance. And so now it will know what you have changed and it will know if it's better or not. And also if you actually do those edits here inside of Autocrit, as long as you do it inside the, the platform, it will actually know what changes you made specifically and be able to give you feedback on that. So that is a really handy feature right there. Additionally, this little arrow to the side of first read and reread uh, gives you this little box where you can provide additional context. So if there's just something you want it to know, um, like, I, I don't know, like maybe, uh, maybe you're subverting a specific trope and you want to make sure that they know that you have the trope in there, but you're subverting it. So you're trying to take things a little bit in a different direction and you want it to make sure it knows that and has that context. You can do that or whatever additional context you want it to have in this space. This also allows you to override some of the commands that you might see in the instructions for the beta reader. So if for this one, for the harsh critic, it has all of these instructions on how it is supposed to react to your book. Um, so if you want to override any of this without actually coming in here and changing it, because maybe you only want to change something for this specific read through, that's a good instance where this additional context area could be useful for you. All right, the next thing that I am super excited about, this is probably the thing that got me the most excited. Well, it's it's one of the things that got me the most excited is as you scan through what it gave you for feedback on your book, you'll notice now there are these little pound signs or hashtags for you young people. If you click on one of these, it will actually take you to that moment in the book where it is highlighting that thing. So in this case, we got premise and the hook and the strength is the central idea. Arthur, the future king, pulled into a rescue of his mother slash half and half sister in the other world is strong and immediately marketable. The manuscript sells its weird Arthurian hook well early, uh, like Caliburn's inscription. And now if I click on this, we'll actually come to Caliburn's inscription right here. Whoso pulleth out this sword from the stone is duly born king of Britain. Um, also here, uh, it takes you to another area, uh, where it clearly talks about the inscription, uh, and then the green witch fire, you know, so anyway, it's just talking about the premise and everything good there, which means if we find an area where it's asking, uh, where add something that you need to improve, 
So for instance, here it says what Caliburn specifically does. Uh, so it's asking what it does specifically. Uh, it says there's a holy light, why it repels certain things. Uh, so this apparently is not as well explained in the manuscript. And if I wanted to go to instances of that, I could just click this little sign and suddenly we get pulled down to this paragraph in my book, a distant bone chilling howl echoed through the night. It came from the direction of the bay and sent goosebumps crawling down Arthur's arms. He slipped his helmet on and pulled his sword free, revealing the blade in front of Taliesin for the first time. The mist seemed to falter momentarily, the green light swirling around the pale glow of Caliburn as if the blade itself emitted a holy energy that dispelled some of the otherworldly power driven for forward by the mist. All right, so yeah, it's certainly a little bit vague about why it's doing that. Now, uh, I can now just make a decision as an author to be like, okay, this is clearly meant to be sort of a... a uh, awe-inspiring moment there isn't actually a mechanic in the magic system that's calling it to push away the green light it's just more of like a an emphasis on how holy this sword is and how important it is and that it's sort of infused with some kind of bright magic it doesn't really matter uh the mechanics of what it's doing in this situation so i can just go ahead and ignore this uh, but as you go through, you could just, you know, pick up on these different things and be like, okay, actually, yeah, that's good advice. Um, and uh, anyway, this makes it so much easier to actually find the instances where improvements could be made and uh, makes this whole alpha and beta reader feature infinitely more useful, in my opinion. Now, before we get into the next f new feature, which actually might be my, my actual favorite, uh, I want to mention that this I do have a lifetime link down below, and that is the price that you will see around Black Friday. It's not going down any lower. In fact, I was told uh, just recently that the price for the lifetime is actually going to go up after Cyber Monday. So Cyber Monday is on December 1st, meaning December 2nd, the price will go up to $500 as opposed to the $400 that it is at right now. And my link and the link of a couple of other influencers is the only way to get a lifetime price for AutoCrit, which is why I highly recommend you act on that now. Again, this is not sponsored by them. I just really like their platform. But I do think getting the lifetime account is the best way to go because features like this cost them money every time you run it because it's using AI. And so the fact that they can even consider to give you um, a lifetime account is kind of mind boggling to me. And I've told them several times, I don't know how they're able to afford doing that, uh, at least in the long term. So definitely, if you don't want to pay $100 extra, get this platform before Cyber Monday uh, is over. And uh, once again, there's a link down below. All right, so let's go to the next feature that I'm really excited about. And this is, this is the feedback that I gave them that they immediately implemented and came back to me a couple weeks later saying it's done. Um, if we go to the story builder and just go to this dashboard and hit new story builder idea, new fiction story idea, you could do this with nonfiction too, but um, we'll just stick with fiction for now. And I'm just going to whip up something really quickly. Um, we're not going to actually put in a, an actual story premise that I want to see. Uh, let's go ahead and generate ideas. So it's just going to generate a random story idea and fill everything out. All right. So now this uh, story idea has been generated. It's a kind of a uh, looks like a hard sci-fi type of thing. It's filled out all of these forms, including some of the outline beats. Uh, so this is important here because uh, this allows us to you know put in what happens in the book, obviously. So uh, this is great. But what I'm really excited about is now that we've got this and uh, and you can put your own story in here as, as you want we just generated one just for the sake of this video up here at the top we have an alpha read and a market fuel so this similar to the alpha read and the market fuel that we saw on the book level you can now do at the story and outline level and that's great because if we go here to the alpha read and we're going to select a reader and since this is a science fiction let's see if we have a sci-fi reader all right, so here it is, science fiction reader. Go ahead and create this reader. And now this reader has been created successfully and just say start reading. And I can also go, while, that, and while that's going, I can also get the market fuel one going. All right, and now it has given us a, the analysis of that particular story idea. And it's funny because it's, it's not rating it super high, 
probably because it was generated with AI without any human input. Um, but uh, yeah, so it goes through and it actually gives you detailed feedback on all of the different things at the outline level. So you have instead of you know feedback for each chapter, you have feedback for each of these story beats, and uh, and it does a pretty good job. And the reason I like this, the reason this was the feedback that I gave Autocrit is because I actually recommend authors, especially if you're just starting out and you don't have a huge budget, that you probably shouldn't hire a developmental editor after you finish the book, because chances are, especially if you're just starting out, the book won't actually be that great yet, and you'll have to make massive edits in order to fix it. But if you hire a developmental at the outlining stage, um, assuming you are an outliner, then they can actually help you fix a lot of those things early on before you even write the book. And therefore you can, uh, you can go in with at least some certainty that the overall structure of your book is good. And then you can focus more on line edits and proofreading and stuff like that when you're done. So that's why I thought it would be really handy to have an alpha reader that will actually do this for your story idea and not just the finished book. Because sometimes making those edits after you finish the book can be pretty substantial. And uh, personally, I don't like having to do all those. So I like to fix things before we even get to that stage. Additionally, here in the market fuel section, you can actually get quite a few additional marketing assets before you even start with, and this can be useful as well. A lot of authors I know will recommend starting with the book description, having it written before you actually write the book, um, because it helps you to kind of clarify what the hook is of your book and uh, what the genre is and all of that. And so all of that is listed here, plenty of useful information here. Um, that could be useful as you're writing the book. So you can go through these to your heart's content and just, uh, you know, have fun with it. All right, so now let's go to the last be new feature to come to this. I'm also pretty excited about this, although I don't have use cases for it in this exact moment. But what you can do is you can actually create a series and run an analysis at the series level as well. So I've just created a couple of dummy books here, a book one and a book two. And if you go up here to select, uh, and this is in a folder, by the way, you'll need this in a folder. And if you go to add up here inside of the folder level, you just hit add and then this button, this green one that says series analysis. Click on that and suddenly you'll get this thing uh, under the project that you've selected and you have your two books here. You can then select your, who your reader is. So let's go ahead and select that harsh critic again. You also have access to Analyzer Plus and the beta reader and the market fuel here at the series level as well. Now you'll notice that there's a little warning sign here for the books and that's because there's no story in there and you have to run your story analysis on each of those books individually first before you can actually do the series analysis. But it's really cool to see that if you've got multiple books in a series, and you want to kind of see how they all fit together and whether each one is a good fit for the genre, that this is a good way to go. And that's it for the new updates to Autocrit. I was super happy with all of these and super happy to see how quickly they were able to turn around some of those ideas, especially when I had just given them a little bit of feedback. I was pleasantly surprised that they came back to me with that. Once again, if you want to get this, you can get it at the lifetime price of $400 at my link down below but it will be going up to $500 after Cyber Monday. So go check that out. And also, if you wanna know more about how to write a bunch of books with AI in an ethical way that doesn't interfere with your creativity, but allows you to write upwards of a book a month or more, check out my uh, Story Hacker Gold membership links down below, and I will see you in the next video.